It is Van Gogh, the immersive experience in Singapore, marks its debut launch in Southeast Asia. Over 300 of the Dutch masters' works uh, showing through digital art projections, sketches, paintings, 3D. Wow, what a great uh, exhibition. And joining us to talk uh, more about it at the exhibition is Michael Lee, the CEO of Hustle and Bustle. They brought in this exhibition, and he is there right now to uh, give us a tour. Michael, looking good, my friend, in front of a bunch of sunflowers. Good morning, my friend. Good morning, Neil, Glenn. Hope it's a wonderful morning so far. Welcome to the Great Vango to the Immersive Experience. Well, thank it's you very much. It's a good day to be good day to be indoors, right? With all the rain happening outside, uh, indoors at the Van Gogh exhibition, and it is opening this morning. How's it going so far? Um, looking very busy. You're making me work harder as a tour guide right now. I don't usually do this, <laughs> but let me show you inside the space. Sure. Well, as you're doing that, just tell us briefly. Tell the benefit of all our listeners. What made you bring this exhibition to Singapore? Tell us that first. What was it about it that appealed to you and Singaporeans? So, as you can imagine, pre previously during the pandemic, we brought in the Chinuli exhibition um, and it became such a meaningful project for us because we were making art accessible. We were giving um, you know, a source of relief to people through art. Uh, so, what really inspired me moving forward from then was that how can I even do more with such venues in Singapore to transform local venues into other sources of uh, inspiration? And, of course, now we have the Van Gogh, the immersive experience right here in AWS. Fantastic. Yeah, take us um, uh, show us a couple of highlights, uh, Michael. I, the, first of all, the, the exhibition is massive, and so we don't expect you to walk through the whole thing, but, but give us a, uh, those of us who are watching on, on either Facebook or on YouTube or on LinkedIn, uh, give just a little taste of what some of the things you might see. So you're walking through a big open space right now. Yeah. I am, and of course what you can look forward to is some of the high resolution prints that we have here with uh, uh, intentional lacquer texture uh, painting on them to provide a, a sense of realism to the Van Gogh paintings. Obviously for the, the real Van Gogh paintings, we will not be able to see them in this exhibition, but there's right. still lots to see here. Given that this and you're is showing, us a whole, uh, showing us a whole wall of uh, the su famous sunflower paintings that Van Gogh Indeed. did. I'm just giving a, an oral uh, presentation here for those of our friends who are listening on radio as well. Indeed. But what I really want to show you here is how we portray the various uh, forms of the immersive experience through projection. As you can see here, um, this is a large-scale project projection of the vases painting. With this, we are able to achieve more than 20 of uh, Van Gogh's interpretation of the vases right here on this uh, projection. Yeah, so he's just showing us different interpretations of the vases or vases, paintings that uh, Van Gogh did. Of course, he did many different flowers in many different vases, vases. And this artwork, this installation that Michael is showing us actually changes and depicts each one. And while you're walking, Michael, I want to ask you a quick question because Glenn and I discussed this. Some of your reproductions of his paintings are so extraordinary both glenn and i thought they were real and mm. we actually asked a member of staff are <laughs> they real or are they reproductions because they're very very good aren't they definitely i think the team worked really hard to make sure that the animation and the content remain high resolution uh, and of course what we have in this room here is to see how we can even bring some of the paintings to life right here in front of us we have uh, a 3d version of Van Gogh's bedroom. Of course, one can even have uh, fun taking photos inside Van Gogh's bedroom and, mm. and leave with a nice souvenir of the photo as well. Yeah, so Michael is showing us one of uh, Van Gogh's more famous paintings, of course. He confined himself to his room, which became his art gallery, effectively, and he did various paintings of that room, and they've recreated the entire room where you can sit on his chair, sit on his bed, and take photo selfies. It's fantastic. So what I'm really proud of is that for the first time in the world, we are able to produce a large part of the Asian elements in Van Gogh's paintings right here in Singapore. We created this special immersive room here. Um, and of course, allow me to just uh, bring everyone through. Sure. This is the room from Woodcast to Van Gogh. We created the content here specially for Singapore and, and we're very proud to launch it um, in, a, in a very refreshing way here. Basically, what we really want to show here is to see how Van Gogh was so inspired by Asian elements, particularly in Japan, for the mm. rest of the paintings that defined his career after. 
Yeah, it's that was uh, just there. There are several of those rooms like that where you have these immersive experiences. The entire walls and and so, in some cases the ceilings are covered with Van Gogh imaging uh, Im images, and like you say, from his his study of uh, Japonica and and other things, just really really neat and great places you can just go and sit. You know, s chairs and beanbag kind of cushions where you can just kind of sit and soak it all in. And is your hope that people will really, you know, not just walk through, but really spend some time uh, in there, Michael? Definitely. This is easily a 12-minute loop. So one can sit um, in this room and even enjoy a taste of Japan uh, with our Machaya partner. Uh, we're very proud that this time around we're working with uh, a few well-known established uh, local partners here. And, and with that, we're able to offer I will guess you a taste of uh, Japan in this oh, uh, that's cup great. of matcha tea. I was going to ask you that, Michael, because I wasn't sure if that setup for the drinks was just for uh, for the media. But I'm so glad that it's yeah. available for guests because just to paint the picture, you can buy a drink, sit in a nice comfy uh, uh, deck chair or bench and look up at the stars and look up at all of Van Gogh's works, which have you know, illustrated and beamed almost 360 mm. around the room mm. and across the ceiling. And you can watch all this drinking a coffee or whatever it is from a deck chair. It's quite extraordinary, Michael. And, and that's only one of the rooms. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. As we walk into the mini immersive room, I'd like to walk through this kinetic room. If I can just slow down the camera here, you'll be able to see that we're actually growing some digital sunflowers behind me, which mm. will make it really fun for everyone. And of course, here I, here I am presenting to you the Immersive Room Van Gogh experience where you mm. can easily spend a good 35 minutes watching through the whole entire loop of the animation and of course Van Gogh inspired elements here. Hey Michael, how big is that room? Do you, do you happen to know offhand, the room that you're going into now is just massive, as Neil said, a 360 degree experience uh, earlier. Um, any idea how big that space is? Because it's huge. It is a big space. Of course, uh, what I really want to highlight here is the extremely high ceiling that we have here that is able to accommodate such high walls of 10.5 meters. Above us, we have 45 projectors, and we are actually in this room that is, uh, I would say, 3,500 square feet. Wow. wow. And this is the room Lushes. I was talking about, Michael, where you could sit in a deck chair or sit on one of the benches and just watch Van Gogh's yeah. works pass you by. It is quite extraordinary. These 10 meter high walls and, and which is, how many cameras did you say? 45 cameras? Four, 45 cameras. Wow. So, of course, um, oh, don't lose us now. Okay. He's lost us for a second. Hopefully he'll come back any second. But uh, we're talking to Michael Lee, the CEO of Hustle and Bustle who has brought the Van Gogh, the immersive experience to Singapore, first time in Southeast Asia. I believe it features over 300 of the Dutch master's yeah. works in an extraordinary, fully interactive display. You know, and at first when they sent us the media kit, I thought, oh, great, they're going to have some Van Gogh paintings there, some originals, right? Mm. But there are no original paintings here. But the way that they have actually presented the the recreations of them there are some actual paintings um which are beautifully uh, recreated but then there's there's stuff through digital art projections sketches so there's a 3d experience where you put on a vr headset uh and stuff and michael i think we have you back we lost your audio there for just a second so um yeah you're back okay what, what, back, what else sir. you got for us <laughs> i have i've actually this uh, theater right here mm. and uh, which is specially create um for this exhibition, which is uh, usually uh, something that you do not have for the rest of the world. In this uh, documentary theater here, you are able to witness how Van Gogh lived his career, his life, um, in a 15-minute documentary. Wow. This is extraordinary. You know, it seems to me, Michael, that, that this type of presentation of art is really the way of the future, right? It's, of course, we love going to classical museums. You go to the Louvre or you go even to the, uh, to the National Gallery in Singapore and you see the paintings on the walls. But the way, the way these paintings and this artist's life is presented to us in this way, it's so much more engaging, especially for a millennial or a Gen Z uh, or a Gen Alpha uh, audience. Uh, wh what are your thoughts on that? 
Um, I, I think we definitely still need the museums of the world. Um, this is an additional experience to help those who usually find museum slightly more intimidating to make the intermediary step towards uh, knowing arts and culture. Uh, I mean, of course, for us to present an immersive experience here, we deploy various technology like projections. And of course, right here in my hand, I have a VR Oculus headset uh, where you get to immerse yourself in Van Gogh's world for another good 10 to 15 minutes as well. So I yeah. think through all this different interpretation of how we present art, hopefully it becomes more engaging, more educational, and you know, make someone fall in love with art. Well, I have to say, Michael, I did the VR thing, and I thought it was yeah. extraordinary. Yeah, I mean, me too. The uh, simplest way I can describe it is you do step into the paintings of Van Gogh, and it becomes a full 360 immersive experience. I'm, I'm swiveling in my chair because <laughs> you can look behind, you can look sideways. You are immersed, as you say, into the cornfields or mm. into the small town of Starry Night. It's a wonderful thing. And on that point, Michael, I wanted to ask you, you know, Van Gogh's catalog of work is so vast. How does the exhibition or how did the exhibition decide what to include and how to include it? Um, I, I, of course, it's, a, it's a, a long, lengthy process. This exhibition is well traveled. Uh, we merely brought it to Southeast Asia, uh, to Singapore for the first time. Um, I, I would like to think that through the virtual interpretation of his art, you're able to include many, numerous of his works without bringing them in physical form in the same space. That helps a lot. Uh, of course, I think we wanted to also take a more unconventional uh, approach on interpreting his art. Uh, we all know his iconic works, right? The Starry Night, we have uh, Sunflowers and so on. Uh, but what was really interesting to us organizers and of course the producers of the show is to see how we can also take the opportunity to introduce uh, his lesser known artworks, his sketches mm. in particularly, which is not usually seen in the museums of the world. Mm -hmm. who, do, who do you think this will appeal to in Singapore? I mean, to me it's multi-generational, but what, what are your thoughts? Um, I think this will appeal to those people who have heard of Van Gogh but have not actually taken time to find out more about his painting, his life, his career. Um, because ultimately here, we, we just want to make sure that at the end of the day, everybody has something to take away from this exhibition here. I mean, for me, I'm holding on to this color and pose here. Uh, for my little ones, you know, three years old, hmm. they don't need to know Van Gogh to be able to color uh, like Van Gogh. And hopefully one day, they are inspired by what they see in this exhibition and become hmm. great artists of, on, on their own as well. Yeah, and just on the other end of the spectrum, uh, I was there during the media launch when a, a coachload of retirees and elderly came down as part of a charity initiative with our good friend Gary. Gary Hong, yeah, Gary from Hung. 10 Square. Mm -hmm. He brought down a coachload of uh, retirees and elderly folks, aunties and uncles, and they seem to love the exhibition, Michael. So it appeals to all ages. We, we want to do something really inclusive in this exhibition here. Yeah. Uh, what we did with Gary uh, Tan Square uh, is the first of many community initiatives that we want to um, have within this space here. Uh, for example, we specially built a wheelchair ramp to be able to allow accessibility for everyone, um, the old and the young. And, you know, at the end of the day here, we also want to see how we can impact the community. Um, uh, we want to make sure that as many people as possible can, can see this exhibition, enjoy them, we want to inspire students. We want to be able to bring together um, folks from all walks of life. So what you saw earlier on, um, 40 senior citizens coming through this exhibition, we also wanted to showcase that despite this being an English exhibition, we are able to present a layer of Chinese-speaking guided tour so that even for mm -hmm. those who are Chinese-speaking, uh, they can get to appreciate Van Gogh's greatness right, uh, in full form. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, um, we do have to, uh, we do have to say goodbye to you now, Michael, but thanks for uh, giving us a guided tour. Those of you, uh, who are watching it on Facebook and YouTube, uh, I can see it now. If you're on the radio, you can go back to the money FM Facebook page later on and, and view this. Uh, it will be cached on the Facebook live site. Uh, so you can go back and watch it anytime. Yeah. Gary Lee, CEO of hustle and bustle, the Van Gogh immersive experience in Singapore, uh, opening today at Resorts World, Sentosa, and it, right near where the casino entrance is, that's where you enter to go into this. And it's going to be around for about five months, right, uh, Michael? It's going to stretch all the way from now until October, so stay tuned. 
Thank you so and much Michael, for giving me the chance to be a tour guide in my own exhibition space. Absolute <laughs> pleasure. And I'll just finish, Michael, by saying you are exceptionally fit, my friend. You, <laughs> you ran up those stairs and you didn't miss a step. You're not out of breath. Well done. <laughs> While looking backwards at the camera, I think that... Hey, yeah, while looking backwards. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Michael. Thank Have a great everybody. weekend and, and congratulations on the uh, exhibition. Hope it goes well. Thank you so much.